air density and pressure. When we talk about our atmosphere, the density of the atmosphere and the atmospheric pressure are both going to play a role in various phenomena. The density, recall that density is mass per volume. And in the case of our air, gravity is going to play a role in the density of the air at different altitudes. Because, of course, gravity is pulling the air down, which means that you're going to have most of the air at ground level. Well, that's going to give it the highest density. So, if we look at our graph, the blue line is air density, and as you can see, uh, here's ground level. The density at ground level is very high. So this is where high density is. And so as you go up higher and higher in altitude, the density is getting lower and lower. So at the highest altitude, you have the lowest density. So this decrease in density with altitude is going to play a role with the temperature of the air as you go higher and higher, which we will see a little bit later. But it's also related to the atmospheric pressure. You can see this red line shows atmospheric pressure, and it's following that same trend. Air pressure is basically the weight of the air above a certain area. Area. Um, for example, the unit PSI, we often see that for measuring pressure. That's pounds per square inch. So that's looking at if you had one square inch and then extended that all the way up to the top of the atmosphere and weighed all of the air inside that volume, how many pounds of air would be in that volume. That's how much pressure in pounds per square inch you would have pushing down on that one square inch. And so this picture is showing the same idea. Here we have more air molecules towards the ground, so that's your higher density, fewer up at top. But if you add all of these molecules together and weigh them, that weight pushing down on that square inch is the pressure. And of course if you go to a higher altitude, there's less air above you. So the pressure is going to be less because there's less air pushing down on top of you. Now another unit that you will see um, is atmospheres. So ATM is an atmosphere. And this is handy when uh, comparing pressures with different planets. So Earth, we define our atmosphere at sea level as one atmosphere of pressure. Uh, in comparison, Venus has 90 atmospheres of pressure. Mars has about 1 one-hundredth atmosphere of pressure, and so on. So it's a nice way for comparing planets and getting a sense of the general atmospheres of the different planets. 
The way we measure atmospheric pressure is with a barometer. Often you will see it measured as inches of mercury. And that's because of how the first barometer was made. So here you've got your glass tube. All the air has been sucked out of it, so it's a vacuum. And you stick it into this bowl of mercury. And what happens is that as air pressure pushes down on the mercury, mercury is going to go up inside the tube. So the greater the pressure pushing down, the higher up the tube the mercury is going to rise. And so then you measure how many inches did the mercury go up that tube. And that's how you measure uh, atmospheric pressure. So that's another way of measuring pressure. So pressure is definitely related to the atmospheric density. Because where the air is densest, you're going to have the most pressure. And both density and pressure in our atmosphere decrease with altitude.